First grade math, subtracting 9 from a teen number. In first grade this year, we learned two methods to subtract 9 from a teen number. Our first method was take from 10. We began by drawing pictures. So drawing 15. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Circling our 10 and taking 9 away from the 10. They should already know 10 minus 9 is 1. So instead of having to cross out individually, they just cross out the whole group of 9. And then they're thinking 5 plus 1 to find their answer. Once they do it with the picture, we move on to doing it with the number bond. Same problem, 15 minus 9. You're going to split the 15 into 5 and the 10. I like to put the 10 on this side because I'm taking from the 10. To remind myself that I'm taking from the 10, I'm going to circle 10 minus 9 and solve it. 10 minus 9, they should already know. 10 minus 9 is 1. And then I add my pieces. 5 plus 1 to find my answer is 6. It's a more efficient way than drawing the picture of the same thing. Let's practice it again. 17 minus 9, the take from 10 method. I would split the 17 up into the 10 and the 1s. Think 10 minus 9, taking from that 10. 10 minus 9 is 1. 7 plus 1 is 8. Our other method is counting on. This is similar to what they've done in the past in kindergarten. If they have 12 minus 9, counting on, you'd start at 9 and count up. 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 minus 9 is 3. But because they're writing on their paper, we need to see proof of what they're doing. So instead of doing it with their fingers, they'll write 9, 10, 11, 12. The answer is 3. Do it one more time so you can see. 13 minus 9. Again, starting with the smaller number, 9 and counting up, 10, 11, 12, 13, the answer is 4. Along with learning these two methods, the students are thinking which way is more efficient. We're always talking about being efficient, solving problems accurately, but also quickly. So which method is more efficient, counting on or take from 10? It depends on the numbers. Counting on is more efficient when the number is close to 9. Starting at 9, counting up 10. Starting at 9, counting up to 11. 10, 11. Starting at 9, 10, 11, 12. Starting at 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Starting at 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. After that, you start drawing so many dots that you can't quickly see the answer. You'd have to count all those dots and draw all those dots. So it becomes more efficient to take from 10. 15 minus 9, breaking apart into 10 and the 1s. 10 minus 9 is 1. 5 plus 1 is 6. Again, bring it up to 10 in the 1s. 10 minus 9 is 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. The students will have many opportunities to practice using both methods, sometimes using both methods to solve the same problem, so they can see which one is more efficient. But we do want them to understand that it is more efficient to solve problems that are close to 9, starting with a number close to 9, uh, using counting on, and problems where it gets a little farther away from 9, it's more efficient to do the take from 10 method. 9 plus 1 is 10. Those are the two methods we've learned so far. That's first grade math, subtracting 9 from a teen number. Thank you for watching.